in Georgia, where there are dueling rallies right now. Both President Biden and former President Trump speaking just 60 miles apart in a key stage for their rematch less than eight months away. President Biden hitting the, hitting the campaign trail just days after his State of the Union address. The hours following the speech were his best fundraising hours for his reelection campaign, fueling this flurry of events in the battleground states. And this says former President Trump has effectively secured the Republican nomination. And we know ahead of his speech tonight, Trump met with Lakin Riley's parents. Posters at the event right now with her photo and the words say her name. Here's where the head-to-head -head stands right now. According to News Nation's Decision Desk HQ polling, Trump ahead of Biden by just two points. This could easily swing either way. We have team coverage in Georgia tonight. Libby Dean in Rome, Georgia, with a former president, while Kelly Meyer is in Atlanta, where President Biden just finished up speaking in the past hour. Uh, Kelly, we'll start with you. Did the president bring the same sort of energy from the State of the Union to his speech tonight? Yeah, I would say so, Natasha, kind of a State of the Union remix. He condensed it down, but hit on all of the same topics. And he actually came out here earlier, which is somewhat rare for President Biden. He was late for his speech in Pennsylvania on Friday, but early today. And that set up a side-by-side -side with him and the former president, who, as you mentioned, is in Rome, Georgia, just days ahead of the primary here in Georgia. This is a state that Biden won in 2020, and he hopes to have a replay again now. Now, folks in the room were holding signs saying, I'm on board. And they said uh, that was a great speech on the signs. They also said democracy and freedom, all of the things that the president touched on in his speech, he touched on here tonight. He also talked about the differences between uh, former President Trump and himself, uh, referring to Trump by name today, unlike what he did in his State of the Union address, referring to him as his predecessor. He also shared the first ad of a $30 million rollout that they have in the battleground states over the next six weeks. He shared that today, poking fun at his age and focusing in on the issues, reproductive rights, climate change, democracy, a lot of the things that he touched on in his State of the Union address, bringing that on the road and trying to sell that to Americans. He didn't shy away from mentioning the former president, as we said. I'll play a bit of that here. And Trump and I have a very different value set of it in obvious already. Mine is based on core values of the defined America. And the rest of the world looks at us that way. Decency, honesty, fairness, equality. But we all know Donald Trump sees a different America. An American story of resentment. Revenge and retribution. That's not me. That's not you. Now, President Biden still facing this Palestine problem. There was a pro-Palestinian protester inside the room, despite the campaign's efforts to keep these events smaller and more condensed. There was a protester that broke into his speech, uh, shouting genocide, Joe, and free Palestine. He was quickly escorted out. But that is something we've seen at some of these events on the road, though they've tried to protect him from this. Uh, this is also something we're seeing at the ballot box with folks, folks voting uncommitted or casting their ballot for uncommitted as a way to protest the president's support for Israel in its war against Hamas. Now, this is just one of the stops on his campaign blitz. He's set to head to New Hampshire on Monday and then on to Wisconsin and Michigan. So he's hitting about five states over the next seven days. Natasha. Quite a blitz. Kelly Meyer with President Biden in Atlanta. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.